Hello and welcome to part two of our volleyball skills video series. We are Rebecca and Tiana from CFB Esquimalt and today we'll be going over the basics of the volleyball offense, the bump, the set and the spike. We'll examine each one individually and break it down into technique points and then finish off with some drills to practice. Let's get into it. The first skill that we're gonna go over today is the bump, which can also be called a dig depending on when you played in the game. Now the bump or the dig is your first contact with the ball from your opponent's serve or hit. So it's your first point of contact on your side of possession. So it allows you to control the ball and play with your serve and your hit. So the most important thing about the bump is that you want to be in a low ready position and this position is where you're going to start with most of the game when you're waiting for your opponent to hit the ball so you are able to move anywhere on the court in an efficient fashion from side to side front or back you're able to move and play the ball the next part about our bump is our forearm position now the bump is specific because we don't actually touch the ball we use our body specifically our forearms to play the ball and to control the ball to where we want to go so with that, we're gonna start by interlocking our hands, either one fist and a hand wrapped around the other fist, or we're gonna be interlocking our fingers, or sometimes players will also put their hands next to each other. From there, we're gonna bring our thumbs together, creating a flat platform on our thumbs. By pushing our thumbs down, we then create a flat platform along our forearms, and this is where we're gonna be playing the ball when we bump or we dig. Again, Tiana here is showing a low passing position, a flat forearm, and passing platform, and then we're gonna play the ball just like that. Okay, after we work on our platform, the next part about passing is to work on our control or the contact with the ball. So when a ball is coming at you from a hit or a serve, it's gonna be coming at you with a lot of speed and force. The point of the dig or the bump is to not generate force on the ball even more, it's to control that force and place the ball where you want it to go. So when we look at our passing platform and our stance, Tiana's low and ready. When the ball comes at Tiana, the point is not to swing her arms and to send the ball flying. What she wants to do is be low, get ready to control the ball, and apply gentle arm movements to guide the ball where she wants to go. So for example, if I'm throwing the ball at Tiana straight on and she wants the ball to go to her right, she needs to guide the ball by changing that platform to either the left or the right. Let's see what that looks like. Ready? Beautiful. So Tiana uses her platform to guide the ball to left or right by not moving her arms that direction, but by moving the platform in that direction. Okay, so we've talked about our forearm platform and we've talked about controlling the ball with using small little movements of our forearms. Next, we're gonna talk about the movement of the bump. Now, balls aren't always gonna come straight at you when you're playing volleyball. We have to move our body to get behind the ball to keep our platform and our passing control within our center of gravity. If Tiana is low and centered and her arms are in front of her, she has much more control of the ball and her platform here than she does off to the side or behind her or way out in front of her. So she needs to... Okay. The next skill that we're gonna look at is the volleyball set. And now this usually is played by the setter who sets up the play for any hitters on the court. And this is key in any offensive play for your team. And the set is probably one of the most complicated plays in volleyball because you use both hands to play the ball with your fingertips without actually catching or double hitting the ball. So we're gonna start by looking at our fingers. Your fingers should create a diamond formation around the ball. Your thumbs are at the bottom, controlling the triangle, and your index fingers come to the top to make the top of the triangle. These four fingers are the main control of the volleyball when you're setting. The rest of your fingers wrap around the ball, so you can go ahead and show them. They wrap around the ball, and these fingers control the direction of where the ball goes, but don't actually have any influence on pushing the ball through the air with your set. 
A lot of the set power comes from your legs. So same with the bump. We're gonna start by being in a good wide stance. Your legs are gonna be a bit wider than shoulder width apart. And your hands are gonna come up and you're gonna play the ball in front of your face. Exactly. So thinking about when you play the set, it's gonna come from overhead. The ball, if you're playing it from here, if a ball were to drop, it would land right on your forehead and then come away. That's exactly where you should be playing the ball when you're setting, right from your forehead. So not right on top, not behind you, but from your forehead. So we've talked about finger placement on the ball. Next, we're gonna talk about our body and how we should be moving when we set the ball. We should be the same as the bump, using our legs to push the ball where we wanna go instead of it all coming from our arms. So if the ball is above Tiana's head, she's about to make the set, she's gonna squat down and push off with her legs to make the set, and then her fingers are going to A, glide the ball where she wants to go, and she's gonna end by pointing her index fingers to where she wants to go. So you're pushing with your hands instead of catching and releasing. So if the ball's coming in, you're dropping down and pushing away, perfect. Some things we wanna remember when we make a set is that we don't want our arms to go wild since we are controlling the, where the ball goes with our fingers. Our fingers should point in that direction. So if Tiana wants to set behind me, she should finish by pointing behind me. So, beautiful. So she Okay, so the next thing we're gonna go over is hitting. So the spike or an attack is the most important part of your offensive game. This is the way that you're gonna be able to get points and put your opponent on the defensive right away. So the most important part about the spike or the attack is the footwork. Similar to our last video, we talked about the jump serve. We talked about a left, right, left approach. The same thing applies to your hit today. So the left, right, left, left right left approach gets you to the net and allows you to gain momentum for your attack so tiana's going to show you what that looks like facing the net left right left and that brings you to the net and allows you to jump up to create that vertical and then horizontal force on the ball Yeah. Okay. Now that we've talked about the footwork of our hit or attack, we're going to talk about the arm swing. So once Tiana has learned to do her left, right, left approach towards the net, the next problem is we have to figure out how to get high up above the net and have a large vertical component of our swing. So Tiana is going to show you what it looks like to bring your arms behind you to create vertical momentum. So when she comes towards the net, she takes her first left step. You bring your arms behind you and that's gonna help you generate that upwards momentum high above the net, which then allows you to open up and come across the ball. So in full time, this is what it looks like. Exactly, so you open up your arms after coming from behind and then you swing down on the ball. Now the final step with our attack, you've got your footwork, you've got your arm swing. The next thing we need to look at is the contact on the ball. So in our last video, we talked about the spin serve. The same thing applies to our hit is that we're applying a flick at the wrist, which creates top spin on the ball as we come across our body and down in front of us. So put the whole thing together and this is what it looks like. Good. You have your footwork approach, left, right, left. You bring your arms back behind you, open up your chest, close on the ball with a wrist flick. And that is the attack.